I have a cultural. Uh, I have a controversial opinion. I believe Citrine is better than a lot of the Warframes in this game, and I don't think she gets a lot of credit that she deserves. Now, let's get into this. I think a lot of people do not like her third ability, and they make that the overall judgment of her and her kit. And to be fair, not being able to shoot through walls is a bit of a killer, but it's not really that hard to get around. You can quite literally just place your crystal a bit higher in the air, cast it well in the air, just do anything, and you can get a lot of out of it. It gives you a ton of status chance to where you can proc up to maybe three, sometimes even four statuses in just one shot. It is insane. It increases your status duration as well. So you can just shoot a area with a primer and then they're just being melted with status effects. It's pretty easy. If you use any of the Galvanized Salvi mods, uh, I forget all the names of them, but they're going to be on screen. Use these mods. Citrine just takes full advantage of them. And with some new mods like Pablo leaked on Twitter earlier this week, we could be seeing some insane builds. We're talking about having Corrosive, Radiation, Viral, three stat mods on your weapons combined with four additional mods for just a ton of base damage. Combine that with like Cascadia Flare, you're just having a ton of fucking flat damage. And then you combine that with a Susumed Roar, and you're fucking eating, motherfuckers. You're eating good. You're melting them. You're hitting them with every status effect. And if they're still alive somehow, uh, they must be fucking God or some shit. Because not a lot of enemies are going to be surviving having nearly every status on them in the game active all at once. Now, this isn't out in the game yet. But there's new Archon Shards. These Archon Shards take advantage of every status effect. Well, guess who does nearly every fucking status effect in the game? Yeah, you're looking at the goat herself, Citrine. Now, what are some weapons you can use on Citrine to take advantage of how many statuses you have? The Sidu is one of them. In this gameplay, you're watching me use a Sidu in Daviri, so it's going to be a little bit more buff than usual, but it's just a strong fucking gun to use with this, plus a galvanized mod, and you're melting motherfuckers. It has such high crit, you put on 100 munitions, you got a ton of slash, you got a ton of heat, electricity, cold, toxin. Toxin becomes corrosive because of how this Archon mod shit works. Yeah, that as well. So about some Archon mods. Archon mods are insane. Alright, so you get my point. Katrina is insane. I'm going to show you some gameplay of her. I'm going to show you some of my builds that I like to use for her. And I'm just going to do a lot more of the gameplay, do the talking, because I don't really do these long form commentary videos. I'm more of a, I'll show you the fucking numbers. I'll show you how insane one character can be rather than just yapping on about it. Thank you for watching this video. If you made it this far, uh, please let me your favorite frame. Tell me why I'm wrong. I love to listen to people like counter what I have to say with their own findings. And we could just have a discussion on why these characters are so fun to use. What's so great about them. These amazing builds you can make. Warframe has so many frames in this game, dude. I would love to talk to people about Warframe. In fact, I have a discord. You can find it in my description or you can straight up look up discord.gg slash Calb. Yes, it is that easy. Discord.gg slash Calb. And you can find a Discord, you can hang out with me and my friends, you can talk Warframe with me. In fact, if you're watching this video as it comes out, I'm live on Twitch and you can talk to me on Twitch. You can come join my uh, stream, you can come talk to me like live, we can talk about the new story that's coming out. Let's do some shit. Thank you for watching. I'm gonna let some gameplay uh, go on. I'm gonna show you some builds. How I like to build her, some goals that I have in mind because even though I have 1.2k hours in this game, I there's I haven't been doing the most efficient grinds for everything. In fact, I have even done a single idol on hunt. I don't even have a good amp. There's just so much shit for me to do, and so little time to do it. Peace out, guys. You thought I was gone, haha, -ha, nerd.
you, you nerd? You thought I was leaving? Uh, originally it was. However, I decided to record the footage that I was talking about, and I was looking over and I said, maybe I should explain what's going on and what mods I'm using. So, I'm going to see green, uh, you've seen the background, I'm showing off the new player build. It's new player friendly, uh, it actually just requires you to, the farthest you need to go to get all these mods is Sidu, uh, except for the Modus mod, which quite honestly I didn't really take advantage of while using this gameplay. Uh, I also show off that I have Vigilancy uh, Armaments in, when I would rather have a Ravage mod but unfortunately I don't have a normal Ravage so I opted to not use it at all and I just put in one multi-shot for the Glaive projectiles and that's basically it. And in this gameplay you can see that I'm doing a level uh, 200 mission. Or, yeah, I'm doing a Steel Path mission with a new player build. This is a build you can get for doing the content from Earth to Deimos. That's not a lot of content, and you're able to do these missions. Now, is it as effective as a actual whole good build? No, not even close. But you can live, you can survive and do these missions. In fact, you're going to see in a second, I lose my gun and I just start fighting people. Oh, and hey, look, perfect timing. Uh, we have uh, Torment come in and I lose my gun, but I don't fret. I go in and I decide, hey, I'm going to spam my abilities. We just spam my one with my three out, spam my, uh, pop my two when I need the DR, and I'm able to just live in this environment. Um, I typically have war on, which would make killing all these people a lot faster, but since I'm just making this new player friendly, where you don't have the helmet system, you don't have the materials, you can't afford it right now, and it's not the most efficient build, but it's a passable build. You can get up to this point in the star chart with a build like this. That's what's cool. Like, this doesn't even take into account that you could be doing arbitrations before you go into Steel Path, and this just completely ignores it. Now, I do understand I have a Archon Shard in, but with that being known, I didn't put on Power Drift. Now, the reason I don't have Power Drift on is because that would require Lua, and I'm trying to make a build as soon as possible for before going to Lua. So, um... Uh, I left the Archon Shard in for extra ability strength and didn't put in Power Drift, but that 15 extra ability strength that I'm getting is just a Power Drift mod. So just take that into account. Uh, I do have 50% uh, casting speed, so that would be a little bit different, but that's a marginal at most. It's, it's not going to be like game breaking, that 50%. Uh, it's more of a personal preference if you like it if you don't that's all on you but yeah you can see that this star chart Deimos like this as Deimos is the first thing you need to go and this build is this strong and this high level of content now I'm going to show you what I typically want to use and what I'm working towards yapped for this next part without even recording it so I'm kind of like dumbfounded right now so let's get into this. So I have Molt Reconstruction on my uh, my main driver build. Why do I have this? That's actually just to support allies and myself. Um, if I ever get into the red, I can just click my one or click my two, and I'm basically hitting god mode all of a sudden. Uh, it's pretty strong, especially with a low efficiency build. See, with low efficiency, this becomes more effective. Ironic because the more energy you use, the more health you get. So I can straight up be almost dying, and I pop an ability that takes a lot of energy, boom, I'm back at full health. And if I see my teammate dying, I can do that as well. And this also uh, affects your companions. So if your companions nearby and you're just spamming your one, and they don't have any shield, you're constantly just giving them back health without needing to really do anything. And if you're making health orbs on Citrine, you'll see in a little bit, my pet has a uh, armor synth mod or a synth mod which gives him armor on health orbs so it's pretty efficient at keeping your companion alive as well uh, i do not have many arcanes for my primary weapon i do not even have a rank 2 primary deadhead which is kind of embarrassing on my end 
And uh, it's something I should be working for. Maybe I'll just go to the market and just buy it for like 5p. Because I know some people are selling theirs fully ranked for 5p. So I might just get it out of the way. Uh, I do have a ribbon on this gun. I would prefer like a ton of crit damage if I could. That's mainly the goal. Uh, just to have higher crits on this gun. Um, nothing too crazy. Nothing like spectacular. Uh, if there is a better modding suggestion you guys would have, please let me know. Uh, but I just think uh, crit, probably multi-shot. Uh, maybe rate of fire. Maybe. Maybe more ammo. Because this uh, gun is not super ammo efficient. I could also get rid of the galvanized uh, mod that I have in the Exilus slot. And replace it with uh, secondary munitions. But I'm planning on actually adding the tome that we're going to get in the update today. That's when this video is coming out. It's actually coming out the day of the new uh, update, uh, Whispers in the Wall. And the main reason why I'm actually talking about Citrine is because the new Archon shards are going to be status based. And Citrine nearly does every status. And you can have your weapons do the other statuses. So you can have a Rainbow Citrine. That's basically the build that I'm going to be going for. Uh, what sucks is that I actually don't have any blue shards whatsoever. So I'm only going to be able to make uh, the, I think the Topaz shards. Which I think have to do with heat, impact, and puncture. Uh, that's what I think we saw in the dev stream. I could be wrong about that. But yeah, that's pretty much it for this part. I'm just going to let a little bit more of the gameplay go on. Uh, my pet's not really too different from the last version. I just added a synth mod and then I have Maul as well. Uh, you could mix around with whatever you want. Uh, I don't think there's really many Bond mods that are going to be too crazy. You could put uh, Contagion on here. Uh, that does work pretty well, but not really my cup of tea. Uh, yeah, so that's it for this part. Uh, I think this is actually going to be it for this video. So this is going to be an ongoing series in a way. We're going to keep, I'm going to keep you updated on Citrine. When I think about her, what, uh, what the new update does to her kit, how much stronger does she get? Maybe even uh, make like some new builds with her. Maybe take off Roar and try something else. I just realized I never explained why I have Roar. Roar has worked for all damage. It works for all damage. So you double your damage if you have 100% roar. You straight up double your damage. That's it. That's the secret sauce. Goodbye.